What's going on, Repair Gang? In today's video, I got a tool review for you. I know what you guys are thinking. Damn, Simply is actually doing a tool review? I know my channel really is 90% carb shit, but we got a special tool review for you guys today. So buckle up your seatbelts, we're gonna get all into this. So let's open this bad boy up, shall we? Let's see what we're working with. Now, if you're sitting here asking yourself, Andrew, why do I need one of these? Why do I need an inspection camera? Well, have you ever went and bought a chainsaw, brought it home to find out that it doesn't work, has zero compression, completely shot? Well, this is gonna help you. And if the person you're buying a chainsaw from won't let you take off the spark plug and stick a camera in there, you don't need to be buying it anyways. So, this will also help you check some stuff without completely dismantling everything and just taking it apart. So, I always recommend you try one of these out. I've, this one's about $75. We're gonna go over what comes in the box and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna test it out on the screen. We're gonna test it out on a big screen. What this is, is a mirror, a magnet, and a hook. That's what these are. I don't think we'll ever use those, so we're just gonna put those back. Next up, in this box, it comes with an audio. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kinda retarded. It comes with a video connector which is what we're gonna to use to put it on a TV. And also if I want to um, maybe record, get some footage of what's inside, I can plug this into the a laptop and then push record and get all that footage. Then it comes with your main camera. And I just remembered, I'm gonna need batteries. Let's hope I got four double A's. So let me get some double A's up in this piece. Bam, baby, we got some Thunderbolt batteries. These are Harbor Freight batteries, boys. We're gonna slap these into our little battery pack here. And I don't know how good these cheap batteries will last. Pretty much, we're gonna find out. So let's take a peek. See how we turn it on here. Switch on the top. Of course, nothing coming in because we do not have the cable connected, but we do have the batteries in right. So now, cream of the cop, baby. 36 inch long camera. I'm pretty sure you cannot use this on your booty hole. So do not try that. Now we're just gonna stick it in. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but it has a little slot there and it has a little slot So there's only one way it can really go in So you cannot put it in the wrong hole and You're gonna screw it on there tight now from here Let's turn it on and see what happens Bam We are on As you guys can see my GoPro my beautiful face looks crystal clear. We can rotate it. There we go. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Let's just do my whole video on this thing. Now, with here, you can turn down the light to all the way off, or you can turn it super bright to five right there. Now, I know what you guys want to do. You guys want to see into some stuff. Well, I think I got a scored piston over here on this here steel chainsaw. So let me turn that off and get to this chainsaw. So like I said, if the person you're buying on a piece of equipment from won't let you just take off the spark plug real quick and take a peek in it, maybe you shouldn't buy that. 
because that's something sketch. They're hiding something. And I know, you know, you can bring a compression tester and all that. But that's a lot of work. That's a lot of stuff. With this, we can just take a quick peek right inside it. So let's turn it on. And let's take a peek inside. Shall we? So let me look first here. Raise the piston up. I'm gonna lower it down right there. Now I'm just trying to get a good peek inside to see why this thing has no compression. You guys can see right there, that looks pretty good. I'm trying to see, let me make sure you guys can get a good view on this. And if we have to, we can rotate it around. I'm not seeing a whole lot of scoring on the actual piston itself. Oh, there you go. You guys can probably see how bad that looks. Yeah, look at that. You could definitely see right there. You guys see that? All that scoring? see that's what you know you're like okay well let's see can i order parts what's the saw worth now let's take a look at that piston the piston looks pretty good but it's the wall when you get up close turn the brightness down a little bit you guys can see right there some scoring so i'm pretty sure that piston is just as bad what do you guys say we pull this up on the big screen? Okay guys, yes, I'm still in my work uniform, but I'm gonna show you guys on the big screen. So first thing first, you're gonna power on your device, get it going, take a look, it's working fine. Now you're gonna plug in your yellow part to your audio, I mean to your video. I don't know why I keep saying that, I'm not in it right now. We're gonna plug it in, and oh God, that doesn't look too good. Now I got a different saw here, and I don't know how good you guys are catching this, but you can see some pretty messed up scuff marks. Like right there, there's one, there's another. If I backed it up and put it right there, there's another one right there. Because if I had like a better TV, you'll look, there's even another one right there. Looking around right there. You guys can see this and you guys can see these score marks here. Let's try to look directly at the piston. And you guys can still do all the things like turning off the light and rotating it. Actually, it doesn't rotate the camera. The lights work, but the rotation feature does not work when it's on the TV. Oh, look, you guys can see right here. Oh, that's clear as day. Look at all those score marks. That does not look good. There's, there's a reason this saw is not running, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can kind of see inside here. I don't know if that's intake or exhaust right off the top of my head. Piston looks pretty fine. But this right here, those score marks, that's no good. That is no good. It sucks you can't rotate it when it's on the TV, though. Because, I mean, you guys can rotate it here. All day long, but not why it's on the TV. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look, 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 look. Yo, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? Oh, look at that. That's my scraggly beard hairs. Hell yeah. So, in conclusion, it's really not a bad tool. It's actually, it's pretty light. I mean, it's not heavy. It's kind of bulky on the screen, but it's good because it has a bigger screen. 
And for about 80 bucks, I got it on sale at Harbor Freight for I think 50 because I'm an Inside Track Club member. So as of recording this video, it was $50. So for 80 bucks though, I'd definitely pick, I mean, if you if you have the time or the money, I'll put a link for like a camera one for you on your phone in the description down below. Maybe even one of these two at a fair price if you guys are interested in picking up one because they're really fun. They're really cool. You get to see some stuff. I think I'm going to use it a lot more in future videos. Yeah, the future. I'm going to use it a lot more. I'm loving it. It's going to be great. It's going to enhance my videos from mediocre to slightly mediocre. And then maybe one day we can be okay. That'd be the end goal of my channel. Without further ado, Repair Gang, if you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more tour reviews, you got to smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.